अरहतु सम्मा संबुद्ध स नमो तस् भगवत अरहतु सम्मा संबुद्ध स नमो तस् भगवत अरहतु सम्मा संबुद्ध स सो टुडे वील बी स्टार्टिंग अवर मेडिटेशन रिट्रीट सो वी हैव टू फर्स्ट डिफाइन वॉट वी आर डूइंग ओवर हियर so there are many definitions of meditation and there are many definitions of mindfulness so we will be defining a way of uh, doing uh, the activity which we are proposing for you to do now there are fundamentally many ways of looking at a object so say if i place an object over here from the angle which you are looking that object will look different so we uh, don't say that uh, the perspective of somebody else is wrong or a perspective of somebody is right there is a way of approaching a subject or any object which you see in the same way what we are proposing or what we are kind of uh, describing over here as a practice is the practice you will be doing over here so you don't add anything to it or you don't subtract anything to it so this is the way uh, you will be able to know that how this perspective or how this practice works for you as an individual so there is uh, something which you have done in the past that may be helpful so if you have uh, done uh, only vipassana meditation or uh, there is uh, only samta meditation or you may have done many practices any practice which you have done teaches you discipline teaches you how to look at your mind how to uh, uh, follow a instruction or follow a path so in that way anything which you have done in the past is useful for you as a individual as a as a person who is doing the activity so that is not something which is on based but what we are teaching and what we are proposing we are proposing a way of doing things that is in a specific manner and we are giving very specific instructions so these are not general broad based instructions which we uh, will be giving you so uh, the first thing which you have to uh, remember is that you follow what we are telling you and you don't add anything to it or don't subtract anything then only you will know that how this practice which is there will benefit you uh, before i start the instructions uh, i want to know is there anybody who don't understand english uh, one person three four okay so then uh, what i will be doing is i'll simultaneously be uh, 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 repeating certain things in uh, hindi also in this uh, course of the uh, uh, our teachings so pehle main ye batana chahta hu ki aap ko jo hum yahan kehte hain wohi aapko karna hai hum kisi aur cheez jo aapne pehle ki hai bhavna ke hisab se use bura nahi mante hain use galat nahi mante hain jo bhi aapne kiya hai usse aapko utna kuch fayda mila hai magar hum jis tarah se hum aapko यहाँ पे हम बताएंगे उस तरह से आपको करना है जब आप उस तरह से आप करेंगे तो ही आपको पता चलेगा कि ये आपके लिए कार्यगर है कि नहीं अगर आपने उस तरह से नहीं किया तो आपको फिर पता नहीं चलेगा कि आपने जो किया वो आपके लिए सही है या गलत है तो आपको पहले ये चीज़ का ध्यान रखना है सो so, अभी सो नाउ वॉट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डू ओवर हियर is trying to understand how the mind is working so we are uh, saying that uh, the definition i give of mindfulness the definition of mindfulness as given by our teacher is to uh, observe how the mind's attention moves from one thing to another and to understand how everything is impersonal so that is the basic framework within which we are working and there is a specific way where we are uh, uh, explaining the right effort 
the right effort is what you do in your meditation and how you do that so uh, we will uh, uh, there are certain things which are there in this meditation which are very important like uh, uh, smiling smiling is not a general thing which we are saying we are saying it as a a uh, specific instruction that you have to smile so you have to smile with your mind you have to smile with your eyes you have to smile with your lips a small uh, the small buddha smile and you have to smile with your heart so this is a basically a smiling meditation it is a, a meditation which is light it is a meditation which you have to do very uh, lightly and in a way which is comfortable so there is no pushing which is there in this uh, practice there is no uh, uh, pushing yourself or uh, overdoing your effort so uh, you have to feel comfortable and one of the things of being comfortable is how you sit not everybody is uh, comfortable sitting on the floor so if you are comfortable more uh, on sitting in the chair you can sit on the chair so the initial basic uh, aspect is that you have to be comfortable in the body because your mind will give you a lot of trouble in this uh, 24 hours itself you will know that your mind is giving you a lot of trouble so ab hum jo bhavna ke bare mein hum bata rahe hain wo bhavna ke bare mein ye bata rahe hain ki aapko kis tarah se ye bhavna karni hai आपका मन का जो केंद्र है किस तरह से अपने आप ही एक जगह से दूसरी जगह पर जाता है और किस तरह से वो अव्यक्तिगत है अव्यक्तिगत का मतलब है कि वो आप, आप किसी चीज को देख रहे हैं और तुरंत ही कोई दूसरा ख्याल आता है तो आपने वो ख्याल लेके आया या अपने आप ही वो ख्याल आ गया उसे हम इसे परखने के लिए हम आपको यहाँ पे आपको बताते हैं और आपको ये जो हम भावना बता रहे हैं वो आपको मुस्कुराना है मुस्कुराना हम आ, कोई आ, इस तरह से जनरल नहीं कह रहे हैं आपको जब मुस्कुराने के लिए कहते हैं तो आपको मन से मुस्कुराना है आंखों से मुस्कुराना है होठों से मुस्कुराना है और हृदय से मुस्कुराना है तो आप पूरी तरह से मुस्कुराहट आपको करना है और आपको हर तरह से आपको आ, आ, आराम से ये काम करना है आपको इसके ऊपर जोर जबरदस्ती नहीं करना है आप जब बैठते हैं तो अगर आपको जमीन पर बैठने में तकलीफ है तो आप कुर्सी पे बैठना है आपको क्योंकि आपका मन आपको यातनाएं देगा अभी 24 घंटे में ही आपको पता चलेगा कि किस तरह से आपका मन आपको सता रहा है तो आप अगर उसे शरीर का भी आप एक आदमी जोड़ देंगे तो आपको और आपको तकलीफ होगी तो उस तरह से आपको जिस तरह हो सके उस तरह से आपको आराम से बैठना है सो द बेसिक क्वेश्चन कम्स इन कंफर्ट इज द पेन सो शुड वी अवॉइड ऑल काइंड ऑफ पेन सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट द पेन हैज बीन अंडरस्टूड बाय अस एंड एक्सप्लेन बाय अस इन टू वेज वन इज अ मेडिटेशन पेन दैट यू हैव टू एंड्योर दैट पेन so this is not something uh, where uh, an effort is not required it's not a zero effort if it's a meditation pain you have to endure that pain but if it's a physical pain you have to avoid it so what is the basic criteria or what is the basic way of understanding what is a meditation pain and what is a physical pain the basic way of understanding it is that when you are sitting in meditation there is a pain say there is a pain in the knee and there's a very intense pain you receive in the knee but when you get up you say i cannot sit any longer and then you get up and then you start walking and that pain immediately vanishes that means that that pain was a meditation pain so next time when you sit and that pain uh, reoccurs then you have to understand that that's a meditation pain and you have to endure that pain and we will tell you how to do that also you know manner which we are uh, uh, teaching you so but what happens is when you get up and the knee uh, is, is uh, still paining after 5 minutes 10 minutes you know that there is a way you are sitting which is causing the pain 
to come in the knee. Then you have to change your posture. So basic things are uh, to ch uh, change the posture is that if you are sitting on the floor and you are getting pain, then you can sit in the chair. So if you are uh, sitting on the floor and you want to con continue sitting on the floor, then you can put a cushion uh, under your knee to support your knee. If that does not work, then uh, what you can do is uh, try and uh, give support to the back of the uh, spine. A, a, a small towel or a small uh, uh, pillow you can put at the back and try uh, because every body is different because every body has endured a different uh, environment they, uh, they have slept in a different kind of bed they have worked in a different kind of environment so that uh, body is different so that is the reason there are no one size fits all solution so each solution will be individual to you तो so, जब हम आ, ये मेडिटेशन के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं तो हमें आपको पता करना है कि कौन सा जो आपको पीड़ा है उसे आपको सहना है और कौन सी पीड़ा है जिसे आपको आ, नहीं सहना है तो ऐसी पीड़ा अगर समझो कोई आप बैठे हैं मह भावना करते हुए समझो आपको घुटने में दर्द होता है जब घुटने में दर्द होता है और आपको वो सह नहीं होता है और आप उठ जाते हैं उठने के बाद पता चलता है कि तुरंत ही वो घुटने का दर्द चले गया तो आपको ध्यान रखना है कि ये जो पेन जो पीड़ा हुई है पेन आता है वो जो है वो भावना के द्वारा आने वाला है उसे आपको भागना नहीं है उसे आपको सहना है और अगर समझो आप बैठते हैं और आपका घुटने में दर्द होता है और आप उठते हैं तो भी आपका दर्द रहता है तो फिर उस दर्द को आपको मीन्स इग्नोर नहीं करना है उस दर्द को आपको संभालने के लिए कुछ चीज़ें करना है जैसे अगर आप जमीन पर बैठे हैं तो आप कुर्सी पर बैठना है अगर आप आ, को जमीन पर ही बैठना है तो आपका जो घुटने के नीचे जो है एक और तकिया रखना है या सपोर्ट देना है या आपको रीढ़ की हड्डी जो है यहाँ पे पीछे उसको आप सपोर्ट देना है हर एक जो शरीर है अलग रहता है तो हर एक के लिए जो सॉल्यूशन है वो अलग रहेगा अगर आप चेयर में बैठे हैं और आपको घुटनों में दर्द होता है या पीठ में दर्द होता है तो आपको याद रखना है कि अगर चेयर में बैठते हैं तो 90 डिग्री एंगल में बैठना है 90 डिग्री एंगल में बैठना है तो अगर आपका आपका जो पैर है अगर ये नीचे हो रहा है तो प्रेशर आता है अगर आपका पैर ऊपर जा रहा है इस तरह से तो भी यहाँ पे प्रेशर आता है तो आपको 90 डिग्री में अगर रखेंगे आप पैर सो आपको यहाँ पे सपोर्ट मिलता है सो व्हेन सिटिंग ऑन द चेयर आल्सो इफ यू हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ पेन अंडरस्टैंड दैट इट इट शुड बी योर लेग्स शुड बी इन ए 90 डिग्री एंगल सो इट गिव्स द लीस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ प्रेशर ऑन द नीज और इन द बैक सो वेन यू आर सिटिंग एंड यू कैन पुट क्वेश्चन ऑन द ऑन योर लेग्स और सिट ऑन ए क्वेश्चन टू एडजस्ट दिस एंगल सो इट इज ऑफ नाइंटी डिग्री एंड वेन यू आर शेटिंग इन चेयर्स यू शुड नॉट टच योर बैक टू द रेस्ट यू शुड कीप योर बैक ए लिटिल बिट अहेड जब आप चेयर में बैठते हैं तो आपका जो पीठ है वो uh, पीछे आपको टच नहीं करना है थोड़ा आगे बैठना है तो आपको उस तरह से आपको बैठना है तो Uh, you have to understand that uh, you have to uh, first take care of a way or you will have to find a way uh, of sitting comfortably where you do, are not hurting yourself or uh, creating a pain for your body after that we are uh, proceeding to what we are doing uh, with our mind how we are uh, uh, absorbing an object so for certain Uh, think as I told you, the definition of mindfulness is if uh, how the mind's attention moves from one thing to another, and how it is an impersonal process. So, how would you know your mind is moving from one thing to another? So, for that, we put our mind at a object. So, we know that if I am looking at this and my mind moves over there, then I know that my mind has moved. But if I have not put uh, an object of meditation. and the my mind is constantly moving then i do not know that is my default state okay 
so that we have to put an object. Now the object of meditation can be of uh, uh, three kinds. One is an object of uh, attention or object of meditation where your uh, negative feelings are increasing. So when you put an object where greed is there, hatred is there, delusion is there, where you put your attention on those objects, your uh, negative uh, factors increase. So we definitely don't want to put our attention on those objects. What object uh, is uh, good, which is called Brahma Viharas or uh, Metta, Mudita, Karuna, Upekha. Those are uh, positive uh, uh, feelings. When you are putting some, your attention on something positive, then that positive uh, feeling grows and there is no harm which you can get from it. And then there is a uh, neutral uh, object of meditation like breath as an uh, object of meditation. The breath as a neutral object of meditation because it does not have the positive aspects also or the negative aspects also. So many teachers uh, prefer the breath meditation. Buddha himself has uh, taught the breath meditation which is called Anapanasati. But uh, in uh, suttas, when we have analyzed, there, it is more times the Buddha has taught the uh, Brahma Viharas or the meditation which we are teaching, the Metta meditation. So that is being taught uh, more times in uh, uh, the suttas or the teachings of the Buddha. So we are emphasizing that you should have that uh, object of meditation. And my teacher Bhante Vipal Ramsi has uh, taught for many years and he has also done meditation also a lot. He has done I think 12 uh, three months meditation courses, a one eight month meditation uh, course. That means that he full for eight months they stay in meditation and one two years meditation uh, retreat. Where at one point of time they had to sleep only two hours in a day. So he said that he uh, used to uh, get so hungry because that is the energy required uh, when you are uh, foregoing sleep. There's a lot of energy which is required. So he knows uh, about meditation and he has done a lot of meditation. So uh, he has uh, that experience and that is uh, from that experience he has found out that uh, uh, the breath meditation is a slower process of uh, progress and metta meditation when he started teaching metta meditation he found that uh, the progress was faster because you feel good about yourself you feel good about what you are doing so in this way both the way you are uh, getting uh, the benefit from this meditation this meditation is called twin it is called tranquil wisdom inside meditation. Why is it called twin? Is there are three, uh, there are two aspects. The tranquil wisdom is uh, samatha, samatha, and uh, the investigation is the uh, uh, vipassana. So we have samatha and vipassana both in this uh, practice are uh, uh, yoked together. The Buddha says that his meditation which he is teaching, Samatha and Vipassana are to both yoked together. So if you had <coughs> experience with uh, Vipassana meditation, that also is uh, beneficial to you. If you have uh, experience with Samatha, that is also uh, this thing. I think I forgot to translate in Hindi. So, Abhi jab hum meditation ki baare baat kar rahe hai, so, uh, meditation ka kis tarah se uh, achha uh, aapko parinam milta hai uske uh, liye aapko jo koi cheez aap uh, ko jo hum uh, meditation ka bhavna ka jo uh, kendra batate hain wo teen tarah ke aise kendra ho sakte hain ek hai, ho sakta hai ki aapko uh, iske andar aapko nuksan ho to so, agar uh, jo jo bhi uh, aapko uh, lobh hai dosh hai uh, wo, uh, aisa agar aapka badhta hai, to aisa uh, jo cheez hai, wo aapko nuksan de sakta hai. To aisa kendra nahi hota hai, agar hum koi bhaavna karte hai, ya meditation karte hai. To agar dousra aisa cheez hai rehti hai, jahaan pe aapka uh, jo hai, achhi bhaavna hai, badhti hai. 
वो ऐसी चीज़ें हैं जैसे मेहता है करुणा है मुदिता है उपेक्षा है उसके अंदर आपको कोई नुकसान नहीं होता है आपको और आपका अच्छी चीज़ों की बढ़त होती है और कुछ चीज़ें हैं जो ना ही अच्छी है ना ही बुरी है वो है जिस तरह से श्वास का श्वास पे ध्यान देना हम हमारे जो गुरु जी हैं उन्होंने बहुत सारा भावना किया है और उन्होंने बहुत सारे शिविर लिए हैं उनका ऐसा कहना है कि जो ब्रेथ मेडिटेशन है वो बुद्ध ने सिखाया है मगर वो उससे ज़्यादा उन्होंने मेहता के बारे में सिखाया है ब्रह्म विहारा के बारे में सिखाया है तो ब्रह्म विहारा से आपका जो समझना है ये वो आपका और अच्छी तरह से आप समझ सकते हैं तो अभी आपको हम मेडिटेशन किस तरह से करना है उस तरह से हम आपको बताएंगे सो नाउ वी विल गो इन टू द इंस्ट्रक्शन विच आर दैर इन द मेडिटेशन सो देर इज ए बुकलेट विच वी आर गिविंग आउट This booklet has a comprehensive. Uh, hmm? Yeah, I have taken one, and then uh, this page is also we have in this book. Okay. So this has a, uh, all the information. Uh, for the meditation, but uh, I would uh, request you not to read uh, beyond the level one. Okay, don't read beyond the le level one. Hindi bhasha ho, jo hai, uske liye main apko kal de dunga, kyunki wo main mujhe pata nahi tha kitne log aane wale hain, aane wale hain ke nahi. To usse sab se kal ham Hindi bhasha ke liye batayenge. so uh, we are only uh, doing up to the level 1 okay so after that uh, when you progress uh, you uh, will get more information you can read more information as uh, we uh, suggest so there will be some uh, uh, papers which are uh, for the morning precepts we will be starting uh, to take the eight precepts on tomorrow and that is mandatory everybody has to be there in the hall for the morning precepts and uh, every evening at 6:30 we will have the dhamma uh, discussion or the talk and we will ha be having question answers also so i have this uh, uh, paper notes If uh, somebody wants to ask a question uh, without putting their name, they can just ask the questions. They can just write. यहाँ पे हमने ये दिया है नोट दिया है जहाँ पे अगर किसी को प्रश्न पूछना है अपना नाम तो लिखने का जरूरत नहीं है सिर्फ आप प्रश्न पूछ सकते हैं और इस प्रश्न का हम जवाब देंगे तो यहाँ पे कहीं पे आप रख सकते हैं यहाँ पे जो है लिख के आप यहाँ पे रख सकते हैं सो Uh, how we start this uh, meditation is by uh, creating or by uh, remembering a happy feeling so when you are uh, you have a memory of uh, playing with a uh, small puppy or playing with a, a small child there is, there is naturally there is a feeling of uh, happiness which uh, arises in one that feeling is a warm feeling which is uh, felt at the heart so when you are uh, uh, remembering that feeling you remember that feeling in the heart and you start by giving yourself the good feeling so there are certain phrases which are uh, uh, mentioned over here which you can use that is may i be happy may my mind be peaceful and calm may my mind be filled with joy 
may I be cheerful, may my mind be open and accepting. So there are certain phrases which are there. But those phrases are not important. Those phrases are like just a reminder. So when you can start that may I be happy and give that uh, feeling and put your attention on that feeling and you have to start with a smile. When you start, you start with a smile and you feel that, uh, you uh, remember that memory and that memory can be anything. That memory can be of you uh, walking on a beach one day and you are feeling happy and then you remember that memory. One of my uh, students was there, he said that I uh, can, I, when I look at a tree, I feel a, a joy. I feel a joy which I, I can't explain. So, I, uh, so he uh, used to start with remembering that tree. So uh, you can start with anything which makes you feel the joy in your heart. When you feel the joy in your heart, you smile naturally and then you start giving yourself this loving kindness. You say, may I be happy. And you do that for 10 minutes when you start. It is like a, a starter fire when you uh, are in a camping trip and you want to start uh, the fire. You uh, take a little bit of uh, dry uh, wood or sh uh, shavings and then you start uh, to put some sparks in it. So it's like a starter fire. So the first 10 minutes you say, may I be happy and may I be peaceful and you send this metta. Now you send uh, uh, this same uh, metta to a spiritual friend. So uh, the question is, uh, how do you select your spiritual friend? So there are certain criteria uh, for having a spiritual friend. The first criteria is that a spiritual friend should be the same gender as you are. If uh, you are a male, then the uh, spiritual friend is a male. If you are a female, then your spiritual friend is a female. Then the second thing is that the spiritual friend is not your family members. There are a lot of uh, intricate uh, dealings with our family members. So the, those can interfere in the process of learning. So we are uh, that uh, spiritual friend should not be a family member. Third is the spiritual friend is somebody who genuinely feel that you want to uh, uh, see happy and genuinely know that that person deserves to be happy or he does good work. So here you have to have a genuine feeling for that spiritual friend. Then the, uh, the spiritual friend cannot be somebody who has passed away, who is uh, no longer uh, alive or who is currently ill. So <coughs> after you learn this practice and after you have uh, done that, uh, uh, our training, you can send to uh, your family members and you can send it to a person who is not alive or a person who is sick. But for the purposes of practice, you have to have a spiritual friend which is uh, a spiritual friend who is uh, uh, the same gender as you are and a spiritual friend who is uh, uh, not a family member you genuinely feel something uh, uh, good about that person and you want to see him smile or her smile and uh, the person should not be uh, dead or ill. So that are the criteria. Sometimes uh, people ask uh, can that be some person uh, who is uh, well known like a uh, Dalai Lama or when uh, Mother Teresa was alive, some people used to ask, uh, uh, should we uh, have Mother Teresa? If you uh, genuinely feel that uh, you are connected to that person, then you can select the person you don't know personally. But it is always better to have a spiritual friend you know personally. You have met and you know the person. That is much better than having a, a, a spiritual friend who is uh, known to you only through a, a distance. Okay? So, but if you genuinely feel uh, that uh, and uh, you genuinely kind of uh, have that uh, conviction, then you can have that uh, spiritual friend of whatever uh, uh, choosing which you want. He may uh, be uh, somebody who is well known and you have never met him. 
that also can be but it it is always better to have somebody who is known to you who you have met who you have known what he good deeds the person has done so some person is uh, very kind of mundane in his life uh, but uh, has uh, done a lot of good things and you uh, really genuinely feel that the person is very good so you have to select that spiritual friend so now after 10 minutes Uh, so I just uh, do it in Hindi also. So अभी हम जब भावना का शुरुआत कर रहे हैं तब हम किस तरह से इसका शुरुआत करते हैं पहले हम अपने आ, आ, एक कोई स्मृति या मेमोरी जो बोलते हैं स्मृति को हम याद करते हैं कि कोई भी चीज़ जहाँ पे आपको खुशी महसूस हुई जैसे अगर कोई छोटा बच्चा है आपने छोटे बच्चे के साथ में खेला है या एक कुत्ते का पिल्ला है जिसके साथ में आपने खेला है और आपको खुशी का एहसास हुआ तब वो खुशी के एहसास को आपको याद करना है और वो खुशी का एहसास आपको हृदय के अंदर आपको एक भावना की तरह आपको पता चलेगा उससे उस भावना को अपने आप को देना है कि मैं सुखी रहूँ तो so, उसको अपने आप को देना है कि मैं सुखी रहूं दस मिनट तक आपको देना है उसके बाद में एक कल्याण मित्र को आपको भेजना है कल्याण मित्र के लिए आपको भेजने के लिए आपको कुछ चीज़ें आपको ध्यान रखनी है कल्याण मित्र आपके जेंडर का ही हो अगर आप पुरुष हैं तो पुरुष ही कल्याण मित्र रहना चाहिए महिला है तो महिला ही कल्याण मित्र रहना चाहिए वो आपके परिवार में ना हो परिवार का सदस्य ना हो क्योंकि परिवार के सदस्य के साथ अपने तार जुड़े रहते हैं और उसके साथ में बहुत सारे यादें जुड़ी रहती हैं तो वो आपका प्रैक्टिस के अंदर आपको बाधा पहुंचाएगी। फिर आपका है कि वो जो है मृत्य नहीं रहना चाहिए और वो अभी बीमार नहीं रहना चाहिए जो आपका कल्याण मित्र है और कल्याण मित्र ऐसा रहना चाहिए जो आप आप हृदय से उसका अच्छा भला चाहते हैं तो ऐसा कल्याण मित्र रहना चाहिए जिससे आप पहचानते हैं और जिसे आप जानते हैं ऐसा भी हो सकता है कभी कभी कि ऐसा कल्याण मित्र आपको चाहिए जो आप आ, आप आ, जानते हैं मगर आप पहचानते नहीं हैं उनको उनको मिले नहीं है जैसे दलाई लामा का मैंने जिक्र किया पहले आ, कुछ लोग मदर टेरिस का कहते थे तो अभी अगर वो भी आप ले सकते हैं अगर आपको बहुत आपको आ, अंदर से आपको ऐसा है आ, मन में आ, उनके साथ जुड़ाव है तो वही आप ले सकते हैं नहीं तो कोई जो जो आप व्यक्ति जानते हैं उसी को आपको देना है तो पहले आपको 10 मिनट अपने आप को भेजना है कि मैं सुखी रहूं और ये भावना के ऊपर आपको ध्यान रखना है यहाँ पे जो ये आपकी भावना है ये भावना का मेडिटेशन है ये जो मंत्र का मेडिटेशन नहीं है तो ये मंत्र आपको नहीं कहना चाहिए मैं सुखी रहूँ मैं सुखी रहूँ मैं सुखी उस तरह से नहीं आपको ये मंत्र आपको याद देने के लिए ये खाली है कि मैं सुखी रहूँ और मगर आपके भावना के ऊपर ध्यान रहना है फिर उसके बाद में यही जो आपकी अच्छी भावना है आपके कल्याण मित्र को पहुंचे तो तुम सुखी रहो तो कल्याण मित्र को आपको भेजना है सो दिस इज ए मेडिटेशन विच इज ए फीलिंग मेडिटेशन इट्स नॉट ए चांटिंग मेडिटेशन और ए मेडिटेशन विच इज ऑफ स्पेल्स सो यू डोंट यूज दैट फ्रेज मे आई बी हैप्पी एज ए कॉन्स्टेंट दिस थिंग रिपीटेशन it is a reminder for the feeling so you just when the feeling fades you remind yourself may i be happy or may you be happy your spiritual friend may be happy so that is just a reminder but the meditation is a feeling meditation you should always be smiling while doing this meditation so what happens is when you are uh, uh, st- when you start your meditation and your attention is on your uh, object of meditation you are uh, you are sending it to your spiritual friend you will find that your mind has drifted away now you are on something else your object was uh, something but now you are drifted away now there is a specific process by which you bring your attention back that process uh, for uh, uh, understanding or remembering we call it 6r it is mentioned as right effort in the buddha's teaching so these are called six hours for you uh, to remember so that is first you recognize your attention has moved okay then you release release means you let it be you don't fight with that thought or that uh, thing which uh, pulled your attention it can be pain it can be itch you don't fight with that then you 
uh, relax. Okay? So uh, you recognize, then you release, then you relax, then you re-smile. Because you have to always smile. Then you uh, uh, return to your object of meditation and then you uh, remain on it. Okay? Or repeat only when it is needed. Now, why we are saying repeat only when it is needed? Because when you uh, sit uh, 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 while sending meditation, there are a lot of uh, thoughts in the periphery of your uh, mind, which is constantly going on. Until and unless it does not pull your attention away, you do not sit sir. Okay? So when uh, you find that your spiritual friend is there uh, uh, and there is a, some thought about oh I, maybe I have uh, not switched off the lights at uh, my home I will have to call somebody to check or something else or oh, I did not give this file to my uh, colleague or something like that those thoughts will be there so let that thought be there don't fight with the thoughts this is not a, a meditation where you are fighting with your thoughts it is not a, a meditation where you are controlling anything it is not a meditation where you are trying to do something. It's a uh, meditation where you are observing what is happening. You are just observing how your mind's attention is moving from one thing to another. So after that, when you come back to your object of meditation, again your mind uh, gets uh, uh, pulled away. When the mind is getting pulled away, you recognize, you release, you relax, you re-smile, you return and then repeat only when it is needed. So then you, this cycle keeps on happening. So sometimes your mind is very busy, sometimes your mind is very calm. So you don't control this busyness or calmness, you just observe it. If in a sitting your mind is distracted 50 times and you bring back your mind's attention back, that is a good meditation. The moment when your mind's attention is distracted and you stay with that distraction, that is the time when this meditation you have stopped doing it. So if you remember something or there is a past memory and you just get involved yourself in the past memory. When you recognize but you do not release. Release does not mean to suppress. <coughs> release does not mean to stop that thought. Release means that to let it be where it is. There may be a thought of uh, the past, there may be thought of the future, there may be thought of the present. There is a noise over there, there is uh, too much wind, there is too much uh, heat, too much cold. It may be present thought. That thought you do not indulge in those thoughts. That does not mean you stop those thoughts. You are not stopping anything. You are not making it something happen. You are just being an observer. You are just observing that thought has come. You stop paying attention. You bring your attention over here. Relax. And you, then you uh, put your attention on your lips. Smile. Then you uh, uh, send, start sending your uh, loving kindness to your spiritual friend. And you keep repeating this cycle. So, we are talking about the bhavna. अगर मैं कहीं पे मिस करता हूं तो आप को बताना है कि आपने ये बताया नहीं है या हाथ उठा के अच्छा अगर मैं कोई चीज भूल जाता हूं या क्योंकि मैं अंग्रेजी में अलग से बोल रहा हूं हिंदी में अलग से बोल रहा हूं तो आप मुझे याद रखें सो अगर आप को किसी आपको किस तरह से आपका मन जो भटक रहा है सब जो आप आप देखते हैं कि आपका मन आपने किसी चीज पे डाला है आपने कल्याण मित्र को मेहता भेजा है फिर आपका मन भटक रहा है किसी और चीज पे सोचने लगता है तो आपको किस तरह से ये लेके आना है उसके उसको हम सिक्स आर अंग्रेजी में बोलते हैं मगर आपको सही प्रयास हम बोलेंगे जो बुद्ध ने जो सिखाया वो सही प्रयास है वो सही प्रयास हमने ये हिंदी में भी दिया है तो उसको आपको ये ध्यान रखना है आपको पहले पहचानना है कि आपका मन भटक गया है उसे रहने देना है जहाँ पे है उसके साथ झगड़ा नहीं करना है उसको दबाना नहीं है उसके साथ में आपको कोई भी चीज़ नहीं करनी है उसको जहाँ पे है वहाँ पर रहने देना है फिर आपका मन का ध्यान आपका मस्तिष्क पे लेके आना है उसको आपको शीतल करना है रिलैक्स करना है 
उसके बाद में आप मुस्कुराहट पे लेके आना है मुस्कुराहट मुस्कुराना है फिर आप जो आप कल्याण मित्र को भेज रहे हैं मेहता उसको भेजना चालू करना है और फिर उसी पे आपका ध्यान रहना चाहिए मगर आप जब ध्यान करते हैं तो आपके दिमाग के पीछे आजू बाजू कुछ ना कुछ ख्याल कुछ ना कुछ सोच चलती रहती है उसे आपको दबाना नहीं है वो सोच को चलते रहने देना चाहिए मगर जब तक आपका मन पूरी तरह से भटकता नहीं है वो आपको सिक्स आर का प्रयास नहीं करना है जो आपको फिर आ, आपको कोई भी जो चीज़ें आ रही है आपके मन के बीच में उसके साथ झगड़ा नहीं करना है जो है आ रहा है आने दीजिए आपको सिर्फ आपको एक श्रोता के तरह आपको उसको देखते रहना चाहिए ये, ये क्या हो रहा है आप विटनेस की तरह आपको सिर्फ देखना है कि क्या हो रहा है वहाँ पे ओके और उसको भेजते रहने अगर आपका मन पचास बार भटकता है और पचास बार आप लेके आते हैं मन को तो भी ये अच्छा मेडिटेशन है ये बुरी बात नहीं है जब आपका मन भटकता है मगर वो चीज़ भटकने पे आप आपका मन आप टिका देते हैं तभी आप ये भावना करना भंग कर रहे हैं जब तक आपका ये वापस लेके आ रहे हैं आपका मन तब तक आपका भावना चल रही है तो कभी आपका मन जो है बहुत ही चंचल रहेगा कभी बहुत शांत रहेगा तो हमें शांत के ऊपर भी कुछ नहीं करना है चंचल के ऊपर भी हमें सिर्फ उसे देखना है हम चंचल है तो शांत नहीं करना है ऐसा नहीं है कि हम शांत करना है अपने मन को हम वो चंचल मन को देखना है कि किस तरह से मन अपने आप ही इस तरह से और ये जो जाता है एक जगह से दूसरी जगह वो जाने का एक बारह चरण दिए गए हैं उसे हम पतिच समूह अगर बोलते हैं सो द माइंड वेन इट मूव फ्रॉम वन थिंग टू अनदर देर आर ट्वेल्व स्टेप्स इन विच इट मूव एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड डिपेंडेंट ओरिजिनेशन The dependent origination is a process by which the mind is going from one thing to another. So, when you are observing your mind in a uh, very uh, calm manner, in a very happy manner, in a very, very very relaxed manner, you come to know that oh, what happened just before my mind went to the uh, distraction, and uh, we give a very simple uh, term to our distraction which are called hindrances whatever hinders you is a hindrance whatever hinders you from doing your task is a hindrance so you may have a very kind of a good thought of a kind of ending world hunger and you may say that oh this is a worthy cause i should stop my meditation but that is a hindrance because it is stopping you from learning about your mind so you should at this point of time for this 10 days you should keep all whatever thoughts come aside not to fight with them not to kind of uh, be with uh, against anything but just to observe that my mind has been uh, distracted and what is a hindrance is not your enemy it is a friend we don't consider hindrances as your our enemies why because hindrances teach you what your attachments are so by looking at your hindrances you know where your attachments lie and then you will be able to let that those go so that gives enhances your observation and then enhances your wisdom so this uh, meditation is not about information information we can give you that it is impermanent it is dukha it is impersonal so all those things are information information you can get it a book if i had to sit over here and convince you that you had three hands could i convince you no it is not possible for me to convince you about certain things which you know if that kind of knowing is the knowing which you have to understand about the impersonal nature of your mind the impermanence of everything of the dukha the definition of dukha is also very simple whenever there is something and you resist it that is dukha say uh, one example the buddha gives is somebody is uh, hit with an arrow the 
pain for the arrow hitting uh, and uh, penetrating the flesh is real pain. But the dukkha is, oh, why was it me? Why did it happen? Why did he do it to me? Uh, I, I, I cannot now uh, uh, resist this. Those kind of thoughts and resisting what is happening is the dukkha. So whenever some, some uh, thought comes to you and you kind of uh, have a, a repulsive uh, reaction to that, that means that you are fighting with what is there. Say if there is heat and you don't like it, if there is cold and you don't like it, if there is an itch and you don't like it, that is the dukkha. The itch is not the dukkha, itch is a reality. Cold is a reality, heat is a reality. But you are resistant to reality. When you resist something, that is the dukkha you are creating. So you have to understand by observing your mind that how you are creating your own dukkha, how your mind's attention is on its own moving, so it's impersonal. So how it is always changing. Once your mind is calm, once your mind is very busy, once your mind is very uh, angry, once your mind is very calm again. So all those things which are coming up on your own, you know that these are impersonal. Then you are able to observe and know it as wisdom, knowledge and vision. It is not information. It is your knowledge and your vision because you have seen this happen. And you have developed an understanding of how your mind itself is working. It is not about me. I am not going to give you anything. There are no kind of uh, rays which I will be sending you or anything like that. It is just your understanding and your observation of what is happening with your attention that you gain insight into what is happening. So, अभी भावना के बारे में जो मैंने अभी बताया है, तो ये भावना जब आप आप करते हैं, तो आपका मन जो है एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जाता है। तो और एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जाने पे जब आप वापस लेके आते हैं, तो उसके अंदर आपको इस मन के बारे में कार्य के बारे में पता चलता है, और उसके अवरोध के बारे में आपको बताते हैं। तो कोई भी चीज जो आपका मन को अवरोध करता है उसे आप आप उसे आ, आप आपका शत्रु नहीं मानते हैं उसे आपको मित्र मानते हैं क्योंकि वो अवरोध से आपको पता चलता है कि आपके मन का जो चिपकाव किस जगह पे है आपका आप कहां पे मन आपका चिपकता है तो उससे आप पता चलता है तो और आप जो आपका दुख है दुख जो है किस तरह से है कोई भी जो सत्य है सत्य के आ, आ, आप खिलाफ जाते हैं तो वो दुख है अगर सब जो आ, यहां पे गर्मी है और गर्मी आपको पसंद नहीं है तो गर्मी दुख नहीं है मगर आपका ना पसंद होना उसका दुख है अगर सर्दी है या आपको कहीं पे खुजलाहट हो रही है तो अगर वो चीज से आप घृणा करते हैं या उस चीज ना रहे वैसा आप चाहते तो वो आप दुख पैदा करते हैं बुद्ध कहते हैं ऐसा जो आपको एक तीर लगता है तो तीर से दुख जो होता है वो तो पीड़ा है पीड़ा सहित सत्य है मगर आप बोलते हैं मुझे ये क्यों हुआ उसने मुझे ऐसा क्यों किया आ, मुझे अभी ये पीड़ा नहीं रहना चाहिए अभी तो ये सारी जो हमारी जो सोच है वो आपका दुख है पीड़ा सत्य है पीड़ा से कोई मुक्त नहीं हो सकता मुक्त खुद पीड़ा से मुक्त नहीं हो सकते उनको भी पीड़ा होती है मगर वो उससे दुख पैदा नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि उन्होंने पूरी तरह से समझाया उसे तो आपको वो समझना है किस तरह से आपका मन कार्य कर रहा है और ये जो है जानकारी नहीं है जानकारी आपको किताबें में मिल जाएगी मगर ये आपका खुद को देखना है और खुद का आपका जो पन्या है वो बनाना है क्योंकि आपने खुद ने देखा है और आपने खुद ने समझाया अगर मैं आपको बोलूं कि आपके तीन हाथ है तो क्या मैं आपको ऐसा मानने में मजबूर कर सकता हूं कि आपके तीन हाथ हैं नहीं ऐसा पॉसिबल ही नहीं हो सकता कि मैं ऐसा आपको कन्विंस कर दूं क्योंकि आपको ये पता है मगर उस तरह से ही आपको ये अनाथा दुख का जो है 
आपको ज्ञान हो उस तरह से आप किस तरह से कि, कि आपको देखेंगे खुद और खुद ही आपको पता चलेगा तो जब आप देखेंगे उसे आपको उसके बारे में अंदर की जानकारी आपको मिलेगी तो अभी आपको ये जो जो भी कार्य हम कर रहे हैं उसे हम आपको स्माइल से करना है और सुख रह के करना है आराम से करना है कोई भी जोर जबरदस्ती नहीं कर रहा है क्योंकि हम सिर्फ देख रहे हैं जो है हम कुछ बदलने की कोशिश नहीं कर रहे हैं अगर समझो पीड़ा है तो हम उसे खत्म करने की कोशिश नहीं कर रहे हैं मगर हम देख रहे हैं कि हमारा जो चिपकाव है उस पीड़ा से किस तरह से है तो हमारा जो संबंध है पीड़ा से वो किस तरह से है वो हम देख रहे हैं हम और कुछ नहीं देख रहे हैं तो उस तरह से आपको आपको हर तरह से तरह मुस्कुराना है सो दिस इज वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज जस्ट सीइंग अवर रिलेशनशिप विथ अवर ओन अटैचमेंट्स एंड हाउ दे आर इम पर्सन दे आर ऑलरेडी दे आर एज रिएक्शंस सो इफ दिस हैपन्स यू डू दिस दैट इज अबिचुअल टेंडेंसी विच यू हैव so this is works as a reflex action in our mind so we are observing how it is happening and we are not fighting it we are just uh, being an observer if there is a uh, this pain we just uh, want to know what is our relationship with our pain if it is calmness we are just seeing that what is our relationship with calmness if there is an intense joy we are seeing our relationship with intense joy we don't want to uh, latch on to the joy also we don't want to latch on to the calmness also we are just an observer for that calmness which comes up we are observer for that happiness which comes up if there is pain we are just an observer for the pain if there is uh, something which is uh, unpleasant or there is something which is pleasant we have a relationship with it and that relationship is habitual if this happens you do that and that is the Uh, teaching of the dependent origination so that is where we will be taking up uh, as we go along so this uh, next 24 hours will be a little difficult because we will be starting and the mind has a way of going on and on and this may have gone in for this lifetime if you want to believe you have this one lifetime then you say that you are uh, 30 40 50 you have been doing this for 50 years if you want to believe the buddha and uh, say that you had a 100000 lifetime maybe you have been doing this for a 100000 lifetimes so this is not going to be easy for the mind so the mind is going to resist because the mind has been doing its own thing and certain times you go to a practice which is also uh, conducive to your mind because your mind wanted it your mind wanted calm so you went to do calmness you want your wa mind wanted a uh, 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 effort so you did something which uh, required effort but that is just a habitual tendency you have followed of the mind what we are doing is over here we are giving you a uh, practice which is unlike anything which you have done and just see what the mind does so this 24 hours will be of utmost importance because the mind is going to resist it is not going to take it lying down it is going to hit back because it is the master and you have been the slave so now you are trying to kind of understand it you are trying to kind of go on to that territory so then there is a resistance which comes but those resistances are also your friends don't uh, be afraid of them because they kind of give you also insight into your attachments so there are no hindrances which are enemies so you are not resisting or fighting anything everything which comes is a friend for you because it gives you an insight it gives you some thing back and that is what you are trying to accumulate that pieces of insight as you uh, uh, go along we will be having interviews every day interviews so, but we need 24 hours for you to have done the practice for us to kind of have something to talk about so we will be asking you some questions 
and those questions are uh, very easy there, there are only five questions we'll ask and that uh, interview process will start on 21st we'll uh, put a list with a timing and there's a process for the interview that also i'll explain so the five questions we ask is what is your object of meditation so if you have been doing this dream meditation in the past as i see you have been doing uh, this dream or uh, meditation so your object will be different you will start with directions and for you it, uh, who have started now would be the object of meditation will be your spiritual friend you start for 10 minutes with yourself for the first day or the second day by the third day you will uh, directly start with the spiritual friend this is as i told you Uh, setting uh, uh, spiritual uh, that metta to yourself is for the start period. Then you will be setting it to a spiritual friend. So uh, uh, one thing we we'll ask is in the twenty four hours, what is the longest you have sat? You have sat five times, but the longest is one hour. That is the sitting we are talking about. So first you will say, I have sat for. One hour. Then, in that longest sitting, what uh, amount of time you are able to stay on the object of meditation? What amount of time you are able to continuously send it to your spiritual friend? Say it may be uh, one uh, second, it may be two seconds, it may be thirty uh, seconds, whatever it may be. You have to give a approximate. <coughs> Sometimes you say that I, I was sitting in meditation. I don't know. what is the time what it felt like did it feel like 5 seconds or it felt like 5 minutes so you say an approximate how it felt for you so it's not an uh, objective number it's a subjective okay then we ask you when your mind was distracted what did you do in your own words you are giving you a technique six hours but you are not to say six hours for this answer you have to say exactly in your words what you did you uh, you are uh, you uh, recognized you released you relaxed you re-smiled you returned and you remained so that is how you have to say in your own words what you did and then it was there something else which happened in your 24 hours was there a, a change in the uh, feeling of the metta did the metta go from here to the head was it uh, you are feeling that the room is going uh, expanding or were you were feeling that the room was contracting something which has happened in the meditation the last 24 hours so these are the five questions we will ask and uh, we will keep that uh, very simple and there is a process we will do we will assign you a number which will be like a1 a2 a3 that is a, uh, the uh, the uh, the first three uh, people will come for the uh, interview first okay so say we start at 9 am so 9 am a1 a2 a3 come okay and say so we start interview with the a1 but there is also b1 b2 b3 so a1 finishes his interview and goes and uh, calls b1 you can just tap the shoulder if the uh, uh, person is sitting or uh, can sh uh, 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 show a finger or uh, a gesture by which you can say that there is, uh, you have you are next for the interview and uh, as we go along uh, say a one is finished and he goes to b one uh, and taps on the shoulder and b one does not move so you don't uh, insist on b want to go for the interview b1 uh, can be uh, sitting longer because his uh, sitting is good so whenever your sitting is good you have to sit as much as possible okay so you sit as much as possible if your sitting is good if your interview time is that you can forego your interview time if your lunch time is that you can forego the lunch time they will they will arrange uh, uh, or they will keep the food aside in a plate for you to have it so whenever your sitting is good it will happen maybe later on after the third day fourth day fifth day 
where you can sit if there are, uh, and some people uh, are natural with it. You don't never know how it will happen. So some people are just natural with it. So they can just stay uh, on the first day also, second day also, or whenever the sitting is good, you sit. Don't break the sitting for lunch or for interview. When your number, say B1 number has come, but he has not uh, come for the interview, he will come in the last. So you can see the list and he can come in the last uh, of the time. Time we have assigned uh, 6 or 7 minutes, 7 minutes or something like that, or 10 minutes we assign. So we, uh, we will uh, uh, come in the last as the time is given. So this way the interview process will go on. Uh, so first it will be A1, A2, A3 and your name should be there and a tag. So we will arrange for a tag here. So this uh, tag is something I think uh, 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 we will uh, we'll have to have something to uh, you have a uh, uh, safety pin or something like that? Yes. No? <laughs> we'll, uh, okay. So we will uh, just give you something a uh, tag like this. Okay. I think somebody who has a good handwriting can uh, make those tags for the people. Okay, they can assign them. So uh, that tags uh, everybody will wear. So we, uh, I know when a person comes and I keep a record of our interview. So there are certain things which I am asking, which are fixed. There are certain things uh, which I kind of note down and that gives us a feedback of what is happening. And it also helps us kind of keep you in track. So that is the process. So Hindi mein maine kahan tak pata tha aapko? Yaad hai? To abhi jo hum yahan pe ye hamara jo bhavna kar rahe hain uske andar hum aapko jo interview bhi karenge aapko sawal jawab puchhenge. तो हम सिर्फ पांच सवाल आपको पूछेंगे जब आप आते हैं तो आप आपका जो ध्येय क्या है आप जब आप कर रहे हैं अगर आप पुराने हैं साधक तो आप दिशाओं से चालू करेंगे अगर आप नए साधक हैं तो आप अपने कल्याण मित्र को भेज रहे हैं तो पहला सवाल रहेगा आपका ध्येय क्या है ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ मेडिटेशन क्या है फिर दूसरा रहेगा चौबीस घंटे में आपने सबसे ज्यादा कितने समय बैठा तो आप पांच बार बैठे होंगे मगर सबसे ज्यादा एक घंटा बैठे हैं तो आप एक घंटा बोलेंगे जब वो एक घंटा आप बैठे हैं उस समय में आपका मन कितना समय के बाद भटका वो आपको अंदाज से बोलना है सेकंड में बोलना है तीस सेकंड था या दस सेकंड था आपका पास घड़ी नहीं है आपका आंख बंद है तो आपको वैसा पता चलेगा सिर्फ अंदाज से आपको कैसा लगा आपको कैसा लगा कि आपको लगा कि पांच सेकंड था कि आपको लगा कि दस सेकंड था या आपको लगा कि एक मिनट था तो आपको जो आपको लगता है वो आपको बताना है फिर हमको बताना है कि आपको मन भटका तो आपने क्या किया सिक्स आर नहीं कहना है हम आप, आपको बताना है कि मैंने मैं पहचाना उसको रहने दिया यहाँ पे शीतल किया मुस्कुराया वापस गया अपने कल्याण मित्र पे और वहाँ पे टिका हमारा मन तो उस तरह से आपको कहना है अपने शब्दों में कहना है आपने क्या किया बराबर और उसके बाद में हम पूछेंगे कि इस 24 घंटे में कुछ हुआ नया जैसे आपका मेहता का भावना आपका हृदय में था या आपके सिर में गया या आपको ऐसा लगा कि आपका जो कमरा है वो कमरा बड़ा हो रहा है आप छोटे हो रहे हैं या ऐसा लगा कि पूरा कमरा छोटा हो रहा है और आपके अंदर जा रहा है या सब कुछ कम हो रहा है कुछ भी आपको भावना आपकी कुछ हुआ है जो आपको लगता है कि हमसे बात करनी है तो उसको आपको बताना है तो ये पांच हम सवाल पूछेंगे और इससे आगे हम आगे नहीं जाएंगे इससे पांच सवालों के अंदर आपको बताना है फिर ये जो इंटरव्यू का प्रोसेस होगा उसके अंदर आपको नंबर दिए जाएंगे ए वन ए टू ए थ्री बी वन बी टू बी थ्री तो अगर आपका समझो नंबर ए वन है तो आपका अगर इंटरव्यू खत्म होता है तो आपको बी वन को बताना है बी वन को खत्म होता है तो सी वन को बताना है सी वन का खत्म होता है तो डी वन को बताएगा तो उस तरह से ए टू ए बी टू को बताएगा बी टू सी टू को बताएगा 
सी टू डी टू को बताएगा उस तरह से सब उस तरह से एक जो है व्यक्ति दूसरे को अगर जब आप उनको बोलने जाते हैं तो आप खबे पे अपने हाथ रख के सिर्फ आपको बताना है आपको शब्द का इस्तेमाल नहीं करना सिर्फ आपको अगर वो मेडिटेशन कर रहा है तो खबे पे आपको हाथ रखना है अगर वो आपको दिखता है तो आपको सिर्फ इशारों से बताना है आपको बात नहीं करना है सो so, और अगर जो व्यक्ति बैठा है अगर भावना अच्छी है तो वो बैठा रहेगा उससे वो अभी उठेगा नहीं तो आपको उसको एक से दूसरी बार नहीं कहना है एक बार आपने कह दिया उसको समझ में आ जाएगा तो आपको उसे रहने देना है तो अगर वो ज़्यादा बैठता है तो उसे बैठने देना है जो अगर जब भी भी आपका ध्यान अच्छा है तो आपको बैठ बैठना है खाने के लिए नहीं उठना है ना ही इंटरव्यू के लिए उठना है आपका इंटरव्यू आप मिस करते हैं तो फिर लास्ट लिस्ट में आ जाएंगे फिर आप लिस्ट में टाइम लेके लास्ट में आ जाना सो उस तरह से आपको ये हम बैठने के अंदर क्या है हम आप बताइए सी का होगा जो नेक्स्ट जो रहेगा समझो आपका सी वन है तो तो आपका जो सी टू जो है सी टू जाके और बी टू को बताएगा तो आपका काम हो गया आपको फिर जाके बैठना है सो उस तरह से ये इंटरव्यू चलेगा सो और सो सो नाउ वी नो द प्रोसेस ऑफ द इंटरव्यू यू हैव टू सिट एज लॉन्ग एज पॉसिबल But uh, not less than थर्टी minutes. तीस मिनट से कम नहीं बैठना है एट लीस्ट थर्टी मिनट्स इफ यू ओपन योर आईज एंड फाइंड दैट इट इज ओनली ट्वेंटी मिनट्स दैन क्लोज योर आईज एंड सिट फॉर टेन मिनट्स मोर सो थर्टी मिनट्स वुड बी द मिनिमम टाइम यू से तीस मिनट आप कम से कम बैठना है अगर आपका आंखें खुलती है और आपको पता चलता है बीस ही मिनट बैठे हैं तो आपको वापस आंख बंद करके आपको चालू करना है सो इज देर एनी क्वेश्चन कोई सवाल है आपका यस आंख में कहीं फोकस करेंगे नहीं कहीं पे फोकस नहीं और यहाँ पे हम कहीं पर भी फोकस नहीं कर रहे सिर्फ हमारा जो ध्यान यहाँ पे भी है वो तो सिर्फ हमारे भावना पे है और अगर वो बदलता है तो उसके साथ में आपको बदलना है अगर वो अगर यहाँ पे जाता है या ऐसा लगता है कि पूरा शरीर से भावना जा रही है ऐसा लगता है कि आपका भावना बहुत ही सूक्ष्म हो रही है ऐसा लगता है कि भावना बहुत ही तीव्र हो रही है तो उसके साथ रहना है आपको उसको कुछ करना है और कहीं पर भी फोकस नहीं यस और यू हैव लर्न द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन पार्ट ऑफ इट सो दो थिंग्स हैव हेल्प यू सो दो आर द टूल्स विच यू ऑलरेडी हैव इन योर काइंड ऑफ टूल किट सो वॉट वी आर टीचिंग इज ए वे ऑफ डूइंग सर्टन थिंग दैट इज द रीजन आई स्टार्ट विद ए परस्पेक्टिव एवरीबडी हैज ए परस्पेक्टिव ऑन द टीचिंग सो इफ यू डोंट फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन टू द टी then how will you know that it is working or not so that is the basic criteria that is the reason we ask you or insist that you follow as we are telling you that will give you an insight into if this works for you or not so anapana sata sati which you have done is a uh, practice which the buddha has taught and i have told you that that uh, has uh, a kind of lot of benefit and those benefits are valid but we are uh, giving you a, a practice if you take it as an experiment if you take it as a uh, uh, investigation and investigate this thing then you will get an insight into if this works for you or not 
this is just an uh, invitation for you to explore what has been offered by us if you explore it and you don't find it useful then you can discard it there is nothing uh, universally uh, we are not saying that this is the only one way of doing it so that that is not uh, what we say so uh, uh, people say that uh, satipatthana sutta is the only way of uh, but uh, one other uh, interpretation is that or translation is that it is the fastest way so in satipatthana sutta also they talk about jhanas jhanas is are, are the parts of uh, jhanas is explained as the uh, level of understanding okay jhanas uh, is considered by many as uh, a samatha practice but it is there in satipatthana where anapanasati is uh, taught which is called as a insight meditation so that is something which kind of is a perspective on the teachings so uh, the buddha himself says that the the samatha and vipassana are yoked together it is like two bullock carts carry uh, means uh, pulling forward the cart if say a, 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 a bull is stronger and uh, he go wants to go this way so the, the cart will go this way it will not go in the straight line so uh, you require both you require uh, the collectedness we don't like the uh, word concentration we say collectedness of mind and you require the insight <coughs> both are required together to progress you in a direction so it is a invitation for you to come and explore yes so suppose we feel sleepy then see uh, those are hindrances uh, sloth and torpor uh, sleepiness uh, agitation are uh, hindrances so you have to first understand that this is something a opportunity for you to uh, learn about it and specifically for teaching uh, uh, about uh, how to handle sleepiness there are uh, a certain uh, uh, things which you can do one is uh, we ask you to sit comfortably but then you can now sit say over straight like this now i am sitting comfortably now i am over straight like this now when you are over straight one thing is when your mind goes like this you are able to catch it more faster second thing is you have to observe how your mind what happens before you go into the knot so what is happening before it goes on how your mind's attention is moving what is happening before that you uh, your mind attention moves you get involved in the thought and then there is a knot so you know how your mind is behaving so that is you have to uh, put in more interest in your object of meditation so if you are a uh, spiritual friend is there see not everybody is visual okay so you uh, if you are uh, not able to visualize your spiritual friend then uh, try and uh, kind of send uh, uh, the metta in a way that uh, imagine that friend is over here in your heart and you are sending the metta over uh, to the friend so take more interest by uh, putting in more energy so there are two things which you do in meditation that is balance so if there is too much uh, energy that you are agitated your mind is very agit you try and calm it down you uh, you uh, 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 put your attention on the calmness factor if your mind is going into sloth and torpor you put in more energy so one way of putting in more energy is to take more interest in your future friend on your object of meditation so that is how you kind of um, then there are other things you can do is if uh, you are uh, still not able to uh, get rid of the sloth and torpor then uh, you can start walking meditation and uh, you walk straight in this way and then you walk back like this and then you walk straight and then you walk back by this uh, your sloth and torpor goes away other thing is you can sit outside or uh, facing the sun or facing an expanse that <coughs> also helps you uh, kind of uh, give you spaciousness and that helps you in that the, uh, the 
if that does not work then you can uh, splash your uh, water uh, and uh, Buddha once uh, in one of the sutras says that you can also pinch your uh, ear very high that is what we don't uh, kind of recommend but uh, if nothing works then pinch yourself a real hard in the uh, ear lobe and uh, that may kind of uh, wake you up yes Some problem or other, some everybody has, you know, kind of, that is not, a, uh, somebody has diabetes, somebody has high blood pressure. That is not what we are, when we are saying uh, ill, which is meaning that he is bedridden or uh, severely ill, that kind of thing. But uh, sometimes emotionally our mind goes to those people, you know, uh, like trying to help them. But we are not uh, doing that, we are just uh, kind of uh, being uh, open and uh, kind to them and let the universe do its job. Certain times uh, uh, we have been told uh, stories like my uh, uh, teacher was teaching in uh, Indonesia and uh, there was a woman uh, who had a, street, uh, a friend from her college and they had not uh, spoken in 20 years. And, uh, uh, but she remembered her and she remembered her as a nice person, good person. And uh, she uh, 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 took her as a spiritual friend. Okay? And after the third or fourth day, uh, there was a call which came. And uh, the call came from that uh, friend and said, oh, I was remembering you. And she found out from a, uh, her, I think, uh, alumni uh, network or something like that. And then she found out she was there in uh, Indonesia. And then she called Indonesia and spoke to her. And uh, she came to my uh, uh, teacher and uh, informed her that, uh, but we are not trying to do that. We are, we are just, that is a part of the universe, that let that, that, that get wherever it goes, you know. But what we are trying to do is get insight for our own mind. And that is also helping. If you have a more metta, you have more uh, loving kindness, then it is good for you. It is good for the uh, whoever is in contact with you. And if you have uh, more, uh, 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 that is, uh, karuna, then it is good for everybody. Uh, you are not feel, feeling jealous. That, uh, that is uh, the benefit of that. Then uh, if you have mudita, uh, then uh, you are happy for others. You are happy. There is a joy which is there. When you have equanimity, you are balanced. In, you are dealing with everybody. So there is nothing which can go wrong with having these emotions. So the, those emotions are always helpful. So that is how we uh, kind of, uh, uh, and the emotions uh, or the stages always uh, go on and on. So you are not changing uh, from uh, metta to karuna or mudita. It automatically happens. And when it happens, we will let you know that this is happening. Uh, or there is a changing feeling which is happening. You will, you will uh, tell us in that fifth question. Is there anything new which has happened? So, uh, ये ये जो हमारे भावना है किसी ने और ने पहले किया है ट्विन मेडिटेशन हैज एनीबडी डन दिस ट्विन मेडिटेशन बिफोर आप आप में यू हैव डन दिस ट्विन व्हाट वी आर टीचिंग नॉट ब्रह्मा वी आर व्हाट वी आर टीचिंग द ट्विन दैट इज नो सो यू हैव डन इट नो आपने किया है ना तो आप अभी दिशाओं से चा, आ, आ, चालू करना है फिर से आपको कल्याण मित्र पे नहीं जाना है आपको आप दिशा कर रहे थे ना पहले तो दिशा से चालू करना है आपको हाँ आपको अभी मगर आप आ, दस मिनट कर सकते हैं पांच मिनट कर सकते हैं एक दिशा या फिर बाद में सारा दिशाओं में करना है मगर आपको अभी कल्याण मित्र पे नहीं जाना है We have to have only one spiritual friend. Over here, it will be only one spiritual friend, unless the entity will say that is what level two is about. Don't read about level two now. It is, it is kind of uh, distracting. So just read about the first uh, level, 
that are uh, the instructions. And uh, as you go along, we will uh, inform you. But we have to do only one spiritual friend. We have to select that spiritual friend and keep with that spiritual friend. Okay? Should we wear a watch or a phone? Uh, that does not matter. If it, you are comfortable with the watch, it, it is okay. And uh, it, uh, we will have to give up your phones. But Okay? Uh, so this is a silent retreat. So you should not talk among yourself. Because uh, when you talk, you disturb your mind and you disturb the other minds also. So there is uh, no talking. This is a silent retreat. And you will be submitting your uh, mobile phones in the office. Maybe tomorrow you can submit it. Uh, they can maybe uh, keep it in an envelope or keep it in a box and keep it in a safe box. Uh, one way of doing it is just uh, put a uh, tape, masking tape and put the name and put it in one box and put it in a safe. So that, that way we can do it and uh, your phones will be safe. You will be getting the phones back on the second last day, that is on 28th, uh, after the lunch. So you can coordinate your travel or something like that. If you want to uh, order a taxi or check on your uh, plane ticket or train ticket or something like that, you will get it on 28th after lunch time. And uh, if you have any uh, re uh, issues related to your food or stay or there's, uh, there's a, uh, the bulb is not working, you can speak to uh, them or you can speak to me. In the interviews, you can speak to me. Other than this, it would be totally silent. So, आपको बातें नहीं करनी है किसी से भी बात नहीं करनी है आपका जो जो भी आपका ये बातें करना है ज्यादा कुछ होता है तो आप इनसे बात कर सकते हैं क्या इंटरव्यू के दौरान मुझसे बात कर सकते हैं या कुछ आपको प्रॉब्लम होता है तभी आप मुझसे बात कर सकते हैं मगर किसी और से आप बात नहीं जब आप किसी से बात करते हैं आपका मन विचलित होता है और सामने वाले का भी मन विचलित होता है तो दोनों का मन को आप विचलित करते हैं तो उस तरह से आपको किसी से बात नहीं करनी तो आप शांत रहेंगे तो आपको मन का ये पता चलेगा एंड वन थिंग आई हैव टू ऐड इज यू हैव टू डू वॉकिंग आफ्टर ईच सेशन ओके सो हर एक भावना के हमने बताया तीस मिनट तो आपको बैठना ही है आपको जब उठेंगे तो आपको पंद्रह मिनट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स यू हैव टू वॉक पंद्रह मिनट आपको वॉकिंग करना है और वॉकिंग जो है आप नॉर्मल पेस पे करते हैं आपको बहुत स्लो वॉकिंग नहीं करना है आपको नॉर्मल पेस पे करना है और जब वॉकिंग करते हैं तब आपको कल्याण मित्र को मेहता भेजते रहना चाहिए जो भी आपका मेडिटेशन ऑब्जेक्ट है आप अगर भेजते अगर आप डायरेक्शन को कर रहे हैं तो आपको डायरेक्शन में भेजते रहना चाहिए मेहता ओके एंड अगर आप अगर ज्यादा बैठते हैं आप समझो दो घंटे बैठते हैं तो आपको आधा घंटा करना है ज्यादा करना है आप यहाँ पे सीढ़िया हैं सीढ़िया ऊपर नीचे कर सकते हैं आप दो घंटे तीन घंटे बैठते हैं कुछ लोग चार घंटे बैठते हैं तो आप ऊपर नीचे सीढ़ियों में जाके आपका जो जो ये है ब्लड है आपका बॉडी के अंदर घूमना चाहिए इफ यू आर सिटिंग फॉर थर्टी मिनट्स एवरी थर्टी मिनट सेशन यू विल डू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स वॉकिंग मेडिटेशन ओके एंड इंटरव्यूज आई वी आस्किंग अबाउट वॉकिंग ऑल्सो so you will be uh, if you are sitting longer say one hour or uh, two hours you can do, uh, you have to do it uh, uh, for 30 minutes longer you have to do walking meditation and when you are doing walking meditation you have to keep sending uh, to your spiritual friend you have to whatever your object of meditation is you have to keep or doing your meditation while walking you walk at normal pace you don't walk uh, super slow you want to exercise you walk to have your blood circulation because you are sitting for a longer period your blood uh, your body is stiff and when you walk your blood flows to your body and when you sit back once again you will really feel the difference in your meditation and if you are uh, 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 sitting for a longer period like 3 hours 4 hours then walk up and down the stairs wherever there is a flat surface you can uh, walk there are certain uh, places uh, uh, you can ask if uh, there are boundaries over here, don't go beyond these boundaries and you can also sit outside if you want to, whenever you are comfortable, wherever there is a public space where you want to sit outside, you can sit.
and sit uh, in, on a chair if you want to sit on a chair if you want to sit uh, down and want to use extra cushions you can use extra cushions <coughs> whatever is comfortable and not uh, giving pain to your body आप बाहर भी बैठ सकते हैं अगर बाहर बैठना है अगर आपको कभी ऐसा लगता है यहाँ पे घुटन हो रही है या आपको नींद आ रही है ज़्यादा और आपको सूरज के अंदर बैठना है मगर जब भी भी आप को आपका बैठना है उसको आप तकलीफ होती है तो आपको उस तरह से नहीं बैठना है अगर आपको ज़्यादा तकिए की ज़रूरत रहेगा तो उस तरह से आप ये यूज़ कर सकते हैं एक्स्ट्रा तो जो दो आपको यहाँ पर रखना है और आपको बैठना है तो उस तरह से आप बैठ सकते हैं सो so, आप आ, को ये ये ध्यान रखना है कि आप किस तरह जब बैठना है आप बैठ सकते हैं इज देर एनी अदर क्वेश्चन यस सो वी कैन हैव सर्टन थिंग्स वी कैन डू इज वन थिंग इज वी कैन हैव एग यू हैव अ बेल और समथिंग लाइक दैट Or what we can do is we can have volunteers who can knock uh, on uh, the doors, okay? Uh, uh, who can uh, maybe uh, they, you can volunteer and uh, 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 they can have an alarm. You have an alarm clock. Alarm clock. Huh? Bell, yeah, we can. Uh, he has a ball, ball. Uh, so this that can be used uh, to wake up. But that person has to wake up. Uh, <laughs> must have. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we can buy uh, some uh, maybe uh, alarm uh, agenda. Uh, so usually, uh, our one of the caretakers uh -huh. he wakes up early. Okay. So we ask him to. Uh, Do the bell uh, this on the residents in the residents in a few rounds, uh -huh. so that people can hear the sound. Suppose we don't. Sorry. Suppose we don't hear. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Uh, one thing which you can do is uh, when sleeping. So now uh, after this talk, you will uh, uh, you will have your first session. Okay. Uh, after that, uh, when you uh, go uh, to sleep, you have to do a determination that I will wake up at five, and that is a determination. When you hit that determination, you have to change it. Say, uh, if you have a determination, I will wake at five, and you wake up at five exactly, then you have to change it to I will wake up at say four uh, uh, fifty-eight or five o one, and when you hit that. then you change it again so you have to see how your mind is able to take instructions from you that is called determination determination helps you in the advance training when you go uh, ahead in uh, your meditation determination helps so you have to first uh, have a determination and you can have one other determination is wake up smiling when you wake up you will wake up smiling whenever you are sleeping The last uh, you have to uh, make a determination. I will wake up at say five, and I will wake up smiling. And you have to smile the whole day. Whatever you do, you have to smile. You are eating, or you are uh, walking, or you are doing your uh, daily chores. You have to smile. Smile is your companion for this ten days. Okay. Yes. What water? Drinking water. Drinking water. You have asked. Mm -hmm. Yes. Actually, we have dispensers keep uh, kept in different places, mm -hmm. so you can yeah. fill up. Uh, you can have your own bottle and fill up. Or there is also cups okay. nearby, so you can uh, drink those waters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can have water. <laughs> Anything else? So we, uh, I, I, I must have, uh, or they must have uh, provided you with this uh, thing. Uh, this has a uh, player. Okay, this is a sharing of merit. I think uh, that is a, a page. You see this has a Hindi part and then there is a.
This is sharing of merits. We do this sharing of merits every day after the Dhamma uh, talk or the, the uh, Dhamma sharing. So we will uh, do this uh, every day after our Dhamma sharing. So uh, you have to uh, say this with me uh, and we say, uh, everybody says, to, uh, says it together. So this is very important uh, for my uh, teacher. He has himself uh, translated it. And uh, this is for the uh, kind of uh, betterment of everybody. So this has a uh, wish for all beings, okay? So is there any other qu uh, questions or anything? No, okay, then we'll uh, share merits. <coughs> May suffering once be suffering free. So you stay with me, uh, so you, you start reading. And the fear struck fearless me. Yeah, together, yeah. together. May and the so, so we we'll start from the start, okay? <laughs> May suffering once be suffering free, and the fear struck fearless is and no more fearing shed all be, and may all beings find the may all beings share this merit that we have thus acquired for the acquisition of all kinds of happiness. May beings inhabiting space and earth. Devas and Nagas of mighty power share this kind of power. May they long protect the Buddha's dispensation. So, over here, uh, the wording of Nagas is uh, a uh, kind of a uh, word uh, the Buddha used to use for the Arahans. So it's not the Naga in the Indian context, but it is the uh, kind of a uh, designation for a Arahan, the fully enlightened person, so that uh, the Buddha used to call him a Naga. So in the suttas, uh, this has been uh, hundreds of times it uh, appears, this word Naga. But there is a beings also, Naga, which are uh, shapeshifters, and while uh, doing ordination, we are also asked a question that are you a Naga? Mm -hmm. That uh, question is asked because there was a, uh, a Naga who uh, was, uh, wanted to become a monk. He came as a human being and uh, ordained. But when he fell asleep, he uh, reverted back to his old self. So the Buddha then said that uh, we have to make this rule. So they, uh, we are all asked till day that are you a Naga? Uh, while uh, doing your ordination. So that is also there, but this Naga is mentioned as uh, a uh, designation for an Arahant. So that is a clarification also it has been given. So we will uh, be having this uh, talk tomorrow, 6.30, which is mandatory. Interviews are mandatory, you cannot skip interviews and you cannot skip the uh, Dhamma talk. So uh, there are only two things that uh, which are mandated. Okay. So I hope everybody has a, a nice session now. Uh, you can take a break. You can take a break, walk a little bit, uh, and uh, go to the loo or uh, relieve yourself, and then come back and you have to have a session of at least 30 minutes. Okay. And then uh, you can go back to sleep uh, uh, and uh, you make a determination. And everybody has to be there because tomorrow we'll be taking the eight precepts. And uh, we'll also read uh, some Dhammapada verses. So these are also helping in the this thing, meditation. Yes. Yeah, I just want to make a few announcements. So, of course, I said that water dispensers are kept in different places so you can take your water, drinking water, and uh, we will paste uh, the schedule in different places so that you can also uh, remember the schedule, uh, the uh, whole day schedule. And uh, if you're not feeling well, uh, then please, you can come to the office. We have some medicines and all. So uh, if you're not feeling well, you can also consult with the doctor. Uh, then we'll also have sign, sign reminders Every week.
just a reminder. And uh, when you do a walking meditation, uh, you can go that side to the residential area, or you can do the uh, this main building. You can just do around, or you can just go down uh, the stairs to the stupa area. There also you can do your walking meditation. And if you want to do meditation uh, outside, you can take the cushions uh, to sit. But after you finish your meditation, you can bring back your cushions and uh, just keep it inside. So, ये पानी पीने का dispenser हमने रखा हुआ है यहाँ पे जगह जगह में तो आप लोग पानी पीने के लिए वो ले सकते हैं। तो ये schedule है पूरे दिन का सुबह से लेके वो भी हम reminder के लिए जगह जगह में लगा देंगे और अगर आप तबीयत ठीक नहीं है थोड़ा बीमार फील करते हैं तो ऑफिस में आ सकते हैं हमारे पास कुछ दवाई है या हम डॉक्टर को भी कंसल्ट कर सकते हैं और साइलेंट साइन ऐसे रिमाइंडर हमने जगह जगह पे कर देंगे अगर आपको वॉकिंग मेडिटेशन करना है तो ये वाले लंबे रास्ते जहाँ पे आप लोग का रूम्स है वहाँ तक थोड़ा आगे तक जा सकते हैं या तो ये बिल्डिंग जो है मेन बिल्डिंग इसके राउंड करके भी आप वॉकिंग मेडिटेशन कर सकते हैं या तो इससे नीचे थोड़ा सा तोहफा है वहाँ पर भी बहुत ही अच्छा खुला जगह है वहाँ पे भी आप वॉकिंग मेडिटेशन कर सकते हैं और अगर आपको मेडिटेशन करना है ध्यान करना है बाहर करना है तो ये क्वेश्चंस आप लोग लेके जा सकते हैं और ध्यान खत्म होने के बाद आप फिर से वापस यहाँ यहाँ पे रह सकते हैं तो कल ब्रेकफास्ट के बाद आपको वो नेम टैग और ये नंबर हम प्रोवाइड कर देंगे आप लोगों को तो उसी हिसाब से बंदी जी के पास इंटरव्यू के लिए जा सकते हैं सो so, अगर आपको कुछ पूछना है जैसे बंदी जी ने कहा है कि इस ये विपसना रिट्रीट साइलेंट रिट्रीट है तो अगर कुछ चाहिए कुछ रूम में कुछ प्रॉब्लम है या कुछ भी चाहिए तो रीना जी है मैं हूँ हमारे कुछ स्टाफ से किसी से भी आप बात कर सकते हैं या तो ऑफिस में आ सकते हैं uh one other thing is uh, if anybody has a medical reason for uh, having uh, uh, food in the uh, evening we will not have a uh, food uh, uh, at a dinner from tomorrow but if there somebody has a medical reason he have to speak to me and uh, then only i i will give an exception okay so you can uh, have to speak to me and then i will get is there anybody who has a medical reason for having food in the night you you take uh, medicines i don't take medicines oh. okay then you can have a uh, uh, dinner uh, but have a light dinner aur koi hai jisko ha yes sugar okay then oh, yeah. thank you okay you can also have okay then there are two people sure. uh, and uh, jitna ho sake uh, have uh, as much light as as possible the food the food Because then, uh, if you have a heavy food, <coughs> then it will be a hindrance to the meditation. And this is what they say that if you want to deposit food, then after breakfast, you can come to the office and deposit it. So we will save it and take it to the office. Okay. Uh, other question? Yes. 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 Three people who are required uh, just have light, light food with the meditation. I mean meditation uh, with meditation also light food. <laughs> okay then. Uh, I wish you the best for this session. Have a break uh, and uh, relieve yourself, and then come back at least thirty minutes. Okay. And uh, from tomorrow also we will have the same thing. We will have the talk. After that, after the talk, you will have a break. <coughs> but you come back, and you have to stay till 10 p.m. You, you, after staying for 10, 10 p.m. also, you will get a, a ample amount of time. After lunch also, you can have a one-hour nap. There is a uh, two hours gap after uh, lunch uh, uh, before the second second session start, starts. So you have ample time after uh, uh, tea also. Uh, you have a gap of uh, one hour. I think one and a half. Uh, I would say half an hour. You have uh, this thing, then you'll have one hour free. 
so you can take care of uh, uh, means you can have a lot of rest time so uh, don't get uh, intimidated by the 10 o'clock <laughs> so you will be able to sleep for 8 hours uh, easily okay. <coughs> so but uh, this after the talk uh, the sessions are very important so we would request you to do as much as possible okay so for the alums uh, one of our staff will uh, ring some bell outside your room so you just have to be a little bit aware that there is some sound <laughs> coming Spencer is an idol, then they should start on the determination. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>